motherfucking drunk tank. <laughs> Apparently so. How it's you guys doing? Good. Good? Mm-hmm. We're recording this uh, Monday morning, right before the uh, the uh, all, every E3 press conference and Worldwide Developer Conference, so this will officially be the most outdated podcast ever recorded. Oh, well, we <laughs> I, uh, I just read some breaking news right before I locked in. Did you? Xbox.com leaked uh, Halo 4 and Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Don't you love in the Microsoft keynote when they announced the Halo 4? That was great, <laughs> right? That was, I was unbelievable. I really was pleased that they announced Disneyland experience. Yeah. yeah. Phenomenal. It's going to be fun, though. Yeah. I can't wait. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing I l- Halo Anniversary Edition. Let's, uh, let's run this joke into the ground. Yeah. I just, I love that, like, it's an, literally an hour before the press conference and they're. And we, Xbox.com is leaking shit. Yeah, we should. They couldn't uh, hold it together. Turn, for we should have done it like we should have done it while we were doing that. We should watched it while we were recording. Yeah. Uh, That'd have been. That would have been. Instead, let's let's just drink. Mm-hmm. Well, we could just drink. What are you drinking? Sprite? I, is there anything in I'm that just, sprite? No, there's nothing in the sprite. You want something in that sprite? <sighs> you know, when I walked in here, I saw those, um, those, and um, the, the, I think you told a story about those earlier. Yeah, I talked about them last. Are you going to make us eat those? I'm not going to make you, but if you want to, they're available. They are. Uh, <laughs> Cherries that have been soaked in moonshine. I think it's called Midnight Moon. I'm going to eat one. A uh, user from the website gave it to us at RTX. I think his name was Dan Jitsu. Uh, yeah, do we trust him? Yeah, I've eaten a few already, so, like, so they're safe. It smells like cologne. It smells like um, nail polish remover. <laughs> Go for it. Just fucking down it. I mean, is the secret just to like, just to... I'm shaking my gut. Is it bad? Oh god! Should you just swallow it? Should I swallow just swallow it? Swallow it? it? It's like our wedding so night. Actually, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. Passed. I remember that face. We both passed out. Whatever. We're not that cool. Um, what do you think? Burning. Yeah. No, it hurts. It burns. My, the side of my tongue is numb. <laughs> All right. Um, hey. So why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be in Vegas? <laughs> Were you supposed to be there? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be time. okay, Joel? It was. It's not bad. I just had one. I uh, did, yeah. No, okay. just you, ah. you have deadened all of your cells in your face, I think, over years of drinking. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm preserved. It's like I'm, I'm already mostly liquor anyway at this point. Like, I replaced all the water in my body with alcohol. <laughs> they say that, like, taste buds and stuff get worn down over time. And it's sort of like that's how addictions, like, to, like, jalapenos start is because you're chasing that. You're chasing that buzz. You're chasing mm-hmm. the, the, more the fire. You, the more you, that's right. You're chasing the fire. And the more you wear your, your taste buds down. So you're saying jalapenos are like heroin, in a way. It's, it's true. Chasing yeah. the green dragon. You know true. Chasing the green dragon. <laughs> right, well, you had you that. When I met you, you liked spicy food, but it wasn't like a priority to you. And now you have to have jalapenos on everything. You have to have At it. least. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you douse everything with oh, a hot sauce. The hottest thing I can find. Mm-hmm. I told Griffin this in last week's audio podcast, but uh, a wing place opened up near our house that sells um, ghost chili wings. Whoa. No shit. It's over there Aren't in Hancock al- Center, like behind Freebirds. Do you know what it's called? Uh, it's called Wings Up. Aren't those illegal? What are when does it start getting illegal? <laughs> I think oh. when you when you're putting pepper spray on your wings. But I ordered so like some on the chart on the I, chart, some of them, right? I Tomorrow? ordered some over What's the weekend. A million Scoville. And uh, they weren't that bad. No? No. I'm sure it was highly diluted. It was yeah, it was hot, but it wasn't like painful to eat. Well I gotta try that. You should I know you're not a big wing fan. I don't like wings at all, but I, I wanna try yeah. it. What is why don't you like wings? I did just don't taste good. <clears throat> I don't like the smell, like the worst smell in the oh, going to Alamo t- Draft House. If somebody orders buffalo wings, I just want to pump vomit. Like the amount of just... like work you got to get for the return of meat that you get, oh, yeah. and like the messiness or whatever, yeah. I'm just not invested. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm totally with you. On I'm with yeah, you on I'm ribs. Like, like I don't like putting the work and the messiness yeah, in ribs, yeah, but yeah. I like it for yeah. wings. I'll do wings. I don't get it. I think the best is like turkey legs because it's like the best return ever. You just like huge. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not going to demonstrate. Wait for another wedding night joke. We don't. Uh, we don't have, another, have another cherry. <laughs> we don't go to a lot of Renaissance fairs, Gus and Joel and I, so we may not have had oh, the regular well, experience that's that the, you've Obviously had. the problem. So you're not in Vegas. Yeah, I was supposed to go to Vegas <laughs> <laughs> again, and uh, it looked like snow outside, so couldn't couldn't make it again. Second trip in a row. I'm slowly... Are you just trying to fuck with Jack at this point? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it is kind of fun. I know that. Does, it's he, like, does he hate you now? I mean, does he literally hate you? He was you? so angry. I'm sure he, he was. He was so angry. It's like, I'm not that much fun. 
I'm be. not that much fun. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, it's not. He should be happy that I'm not going. No, yeah. probably. Jack yeah. is really fun to make mad too because he's got that. I, I see Irish or something, but he turns like bright red immediately. Yeah, like he's. You can register how angry he is just by looking at his face. Like it's just. He's like a mood ring. You know, we have this automatic gate now, <laughs> but the best thing to do before the automatic <laughs> gate was when you got here in the morning because Jack gets here late. Jack gets here later than most other people. The best thing to do when you got here in the morning was to open it. Drive your car through it, then close it. So it was like <laughs> it was open, but it was it was just too narrow for him to fit through. And then to watch him come and then have to get out of his car and yeah, open the gate. You talk about talk shit about him coming late, but I remember two like several mornings where you two were just sitting there in the front in the entryway, not working, waiting for Jack to get there <laughs> all morning. You're just we were just waiting by the gate yeah, all morning. Let's, let's, hey, let's we, clarify we were, something here though. We were exporting. He doesn't get out of his car before he drives in. He drives in <laughs> to the office and parks and then opens the gate. It's not like he can't get in. No. So, Sometimes you can you can set it up so, so that he's just being he courteous, to get out. Brandon. He's just not being courteous. courteous. And you can see him; he's like huffing and puffing the whole time. Like I don't know what it is. I have no idea. It's just something about the gate. It just, <laughs> it just sets him off. It's awesome. <laughs> and yeah. and now he knows our secret. Jack has a lot of what we call buttons to push. <laughs> I, I you know I have that on video. The, Jack going grumpy. Yeah, I, I started recording. I wanted to record it like every day. This is when I was like so angry at him, and this is like my like small way. To like make myself feel better every morning. <laughs> I uh, I love Jack to death. I have to because we work nine hours a day together. Uh, but he's always described, and he likes to describe himself as the most laid back person ever. I don't until know where a he gets single curveball gets thrown his way. It, it, what, no matter what it is, like take a pin off his desk or whatever, and then you can watch the Kelvin scale rise on his face. <laughs> Kelvin <laughs> scale. He uh, he. Ba- I, I I don't know what happened. Did I haven't talked to him, but I saw he had a tweet that he barely made his uh, his flight to, to E three. Mm-hmm. Oh really? I think his flight was at. 7.50 in the morning on Sunday, and uh, he woke up at 7 a.m. Yeah, and then he, I guess he forgot his badge, his iPhone charger, his like all of his belongings. <laughs> he went to E3 and forgot his badge in Austin. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. So uh, if but anybody's listening to this podcast and E3's not over yet, I would like to sell a badge <laughs> <laughs> on the cheap. You just have to change your name to Jack Patillo. I heard uh, Nintendo got breached. They had a yeah. security breach. Mm-hmm. But no customer data was lost, so they say. Yeah. Of course, Sony said that, too, for about a month. <laughs> right. And well, then they said, uh-oh. Well, you know what uh, days they uh, call the Sony breaches? Those are weekdays now. Oh, look at the comedian. It's Joe every Hayman. day. It's every day. I, uh, I, f- I think PSN finally came back up, and I logged into it over the weekend and was able, I guess they're, they have like a welcome back program where you can get like two free games from a list and some other stuff. What were the games? Uh, I don't remember steal. all of them. The ones I got, <laughs> Wipeout HD and Infamous. Deposit your money here. You get Infamous for free? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You probably can too. You I guess a, so, you yeah. You have an account, don't you? <clears throat> yeah, I do. Wait, wait, you're on You're on the Sony? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Were you... Br- mm-hmm. My my credit card on file at the time was expired. <laughs> Same here. Oh, that's... Wow. It yeah. shows you how often we use the PSN. Yeah, I, I don't use it that often. But I had, I had an expired that's credit card. That's why you have such a good attitude about this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, like should you be concerned? You're like, no, nah, it's great. It's great. Got two free games. <laughs> I'd already... Like, it was even with a bank I don't even do business with anymore. <laughs> Fuck Man, you, Bank of America. Speaking of infamous, uh, I'm going to do something. I'm going to enter uncharted territory next week. Just one PlayStation Are, game reference after another with you. Yeah, there you go. Not next week. I mean tomorrow, actually. I am going to disconnect my Xbox tomorrow and plug in a PS3 and play Infamous 2 all week. Because hmm. it Achieve comes 100? out. Yeah. And there's got a lot of really good trophies. And so I'm a little nervous. Nice. I don't know what to do. Play, play games. Are you worried about your, your, try it. your be, Xbox I'd getting be, jealous? What's that? You're going to throw a sheet over it so it can't see what's happening? <laughs> yeah, I don't want my, my Xbox to know. Just don't, just don't plug an Ethernet cord into your... Yeah. I'm kidding. I, well, I think I have to to do like the four hours of mandatory updates per game, right? <laughs> What's a new game? You should start updating your system now, though. <laughs> I can't. Oh. I have to play Eleanor DLC. Just plug it in Jack's computer. He's not here. There you go. That's what I'll do. I'm kind of not a fan of like how now every time I plug in my phone or whatever it is, it's got to update. There's you know always what? an update. It's getting... I turned on the TV in my office this morning and there was an update for it. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm not. I'm There's not. an update for my fucking TV. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. It's too many updates. My laptop's been asking me to update for like a long time. I haven't done it. <laughs> I is that a problem? Do I have to do that eventually? You probably should. Okay. Your laptop's been asking me to have a talk with you about <laughs> cleanliness. Oh, and God. Your laptop was like, could you tell her not to put any more epoxy or paint on me? I'm actually really annoyed with myself. Yeah? Because epoxy, you can't get off. Like paint is one thing. Yeah, it's just one thing. To put on a laptop. <laughs> what are you using epoxy for? Uh, Why well, use epoxy? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I make stuff with epoxy. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, 
It's not so. It's not. It's her her la- her MacBook Air is less of a MacBook Air now and more like a Katamari. <laughs> it's just got shit it's like a sticky it. mess that just collects <laughs> fibers. It's uh, yeah. Do we about two pounds one? heavier than it used oh. to be? Oh yeah, we got one. I, I we were in that uh, green pool the other day, and it's like we couldn't find a bottle opener. And uh, Caleb had a bo- bottle opener attached to his shorts. Well, of yeah. course, he's that's in like comes. That's, yeah, that's he's awesome. I had one of those uh, when I was living in Puerto Rico. I had a, a bottle opener attached to my swim trunks. Genius, genius. Plus, his sport, like he plays, his sport is uh, ultimate. He plays frisbee. But you can't call it that. You got to call it froth. But I mean, it's an, a legitimate, supposedly legitimate, legitimate sport. It's a big sure deal. It is. A lot of running. <laughs> a lot of, lot of running. A lot of running. A lot of throwing. Yeah. Throw well, how does that, how does that tie into the bottle opener? Well, I know he's just that, that being, you know, that age where you consider frisbee a sport, and you have a bottle opener in your shorts that you bring with you everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. That makes sense. It's a good age. That all ties together. It <laughs> is a good age. Probably have Dave Matthews Band on repeat <laughs> in your car. I don't think he even knows who that is. Is that? Are they even still around? Time? I don't know. <laughs> Do they still make music? <laughs> So isn't the, uh, the uh, Apple Developers Conference? It's also today. today or tomorrow? I mean, we, you really timed this poorly. Yeah, it's you awful. It this. wasn't me. It was them who timed it poorly. It's, it uh, is them. It's, I, by the way, this is now the number two uh, gaming podcast. Really? One. We, we, we passed. Uh, we passed Car Talk for the first time ever. Car so, Talk. Well, that's the pulling of the government yeah. funding. Thank you, GOP, for uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. NPR funding. Car Talk's <laughs> going down. Yeah. I think number one is Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, which is another NPR podcast. It's one, thing, it's one thing to be behind Car Talk because Car Talk's a good show, but Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me is terrible. At I've least we're l- not behind Prairie Home Companion. Yeah, that's true. I've listened to Car Talk we're not like behind crazy, it? but I don't even know what the wait, wait. I don't even know what the wait, wait. Okay. I don't even know what that is. It's, yeah. like, it's, it's, it's like NPR like a game, gaming. It's a game show. It's like a game, oh, it's a game show, show with like really washed up uh, celebrities on it. Like mm-hmm. we talked about this once before. Like Paula Poundstone is on it's it. It's like, like current event and news trivia. <laughs> like in a you, game show format. If you ever watch one of those like <laughs> HBO you know, comedy specials from the early '80s, uh-huh. those it's like Louis Anderson and like Elaine Boozler. And, yeah, and Paula Poundstone. Paula Poundstone. Yeah. So, this is like a, so it's like a replacement for Hollywood Squares. Uh, yeah, but like a, a remember, heady, remember, what was that? A heady snooty, nerdy yeah, Hollywood Squares. Hollywood squares. <laughs> yeah, a heady snooty. Yeah. You know, socially conscious Hollywood. If we weren't on the podcast, I would take this conversation a whole different direction, but I'm not going to because we're on the podcast. No, do it. No, I'm not going to do it. You brought it up. You're the king of bringing stuff up you don't want to talk about. If you don't say what it is, it's going to be boring. That's true. I'm going to get in trouble. There you go. And? 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 Okay. Trouble with who? (sighs) Certainly not your girlfriend that Bernie ran off. (laughs) (laughs) That's... That's a whole plethora of. That's a whole plethora of. No, see now you stop me. <laughs> <laughs> see, I was Come on. Say, I was ill-timed. Ill-timed. Developers conference. Ha- have another cherry. I'm very excited to see if Steve Apple, Steve Jobs Apple, is alive. See, this is that beer thing. You, you know, you just said the word plethora, which reminded me of this dude I knew in the army in Germany who was friends with my my friend at the time, who said plethora, and no amount of convincing could convince him that it's plethora. So and we didn't have easy internet yeah, back yeah, then, yeah. so you couldn't look it up. Back in the so day, soldiers don't have, carry dictionaries. You don't have a dictionary. So, in like, the no army? matter how many conversations were like, I swear to Christ, it's plethora, he would be like, nope, plethora. <laughs> you, think, you think he's still saying it to this day? I think he, if know, he's I, alive, he probably if is. If there is no, if you, none of you have a dictionary with you or anything that could be used as a dictionary, then it's not wrong. Oh, really? Right. Like, is that how you live your like life? Like, all of the people in the army had no dictionary. All, I'm just everyone you knew. All of the people in what's the army. What's she saying? <laughs> I have no idea. What are you saying? <laughs> you making fun of soldiers? No, it's I'm like not. Why are you anti-American? Is I'm that what's going on? You and your friends. If a tree falls in the forest and says a word wrong and no one's around <laughs> to hear it, then listen. Is it, is the it words wrong? Okay, right. It's the correct definition. <laughs> I, I, I followed you somehow and <laughs> turned it into the tree. But anyway, you've, you've got Joel this, on your side. You're, you're in trouble. From your story, what were you going to say? Developers conference. iCloud. 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 Why are you all looking at me? Do you think that like Joel has some sort of a personal tie to Elaine Boozler? Is that what it was? <laughs> like, I really want to know where he was going with that. Yeah, way to ruin it. Oh, I'm sorry. Ruined. iCloud. Are you excited about iCloud? Yeah. What, what is iCloud? Uh, it's like... Uh, right now. Tell, yeah, here we go. Tell us but, iCloud. But, but I don't know. The, the, the conference. conference hasn't come out yet. I know. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think it's going to be? What do you think iCloud the, will the, be? This is like where you uh, stream music, right? And you can stream it to any <laughs> one of your Apple devices, apparently. I'm not sure... Beyond I, that, I don't know. If we had a dictionary, we could look it up. If we had a dictionary, we could look it up. I'm getting my breaking news from you. I have no idea. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. No. What was it? How much did they pay for that URL? Like, it was about like four million dollars, which makes you want to just grab a dictionary and then register every I blank yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. It was like the worst kept secret 
I'm, I'm gonna buy. I, I I'm gonna buy iBlankWord.com. I don't. That's what you're gonna buy. I iCloud is supposed to replace the uh, what's considered the failure of mobile me, and it's gonna be like cloud saving and yeah, cloud syncing. Mobile me is a failure. Stuff. That's what they say. I was reading. Yeah. Hmm. It's a widely it's like regarded music. as a failure. I love MobileMe. I, I use the shit out of it. I don't know what would be bad about it. I know Griffin uses the shit out of iDrive. Right? It's a, she, <laughs> just, she just a look on her face like you just fucking insulted her. <laughs> no, she, just... You use MobileMe. Oh, you know, cool. Do you no, know that I know is? that we set it up after my phone was stolen. Yeah. That's why when you... So you use MobileMe? Yeah, in that sense. I haven't had anything stolen since, but if it happens, I'm and ready. And you use MobileMe? Oh, yeah, religiously. For I use it. What do you use it for? I use it to um, connect back to my computer for screen sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, I use it to save stuff. Can you use cloud. like iChat for what? Can you use iChat for no? Well, shit, I'm for that screen guy. Sharing? Oh, sorry. sorry, no. Oh, oh, for, no. oh no, yeah, you can, but this is like built in, so you don't have to have iChat running. And if iChat crashes, it still works. Plus, also you can connect to like the saved directories remotely. I, I have used it like on projects where I've been worried about losing stuff. All I know is that I ate a fucking. Sherry or whatever the fuck that was and that's the last thing I remember. Have another one. Yeah. No, I'm not going to have Here, another let's, one. Oh, let's, it, there's one it. for each of us. Jeff's gone. I already, I've already had mine. I did too. We had to go to work. This is my second. We, you are working. What do you think this, this is? This is work. God. You're at work. You'll be, you'll be fired if you don't eat this cherry. No, we'll get, yes, we have more for him later. Brandon. Just take your cherry. Brandon. Joel, eat your cherry. Fuck. You're not going to get dessert if you don't eat your cherry. You know, you said that Jack is able to peer pressure you but you were just easily peer pressured. No, but he's, he's very like <laughs> He decides stuff. It was out of nowhere. Well, oh, he's a Capricorn. Yeah. Does that mean something? Yeah, well, they're very... What, what are, what's the Capricorn sign? Is that the goat? Um, yes. So that's why he, like, headbutts you if you don't listen to him? <laughs> that's, <laughs> yes. that's the reason, officially. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told this story on the podcast, but one time when I was a little kid, I must have been, like, I want to say eight. I went to the San Antonio Zoo, and in the zoo, they had, like, a little petting zoo. And uh, it was just, like sheep and goats and like farm animals essentially and you could go up to like a little vending machine you put a quarter in you get like a little handful of pellets and you could walk around like feeding the animals but there was one goat who was <laughs> angry at the world and if you walked up to him with your hand like this with pellets he would like kick with his little front leg and he would just like um, throw pellets everywhere and if you saw anyone bending over it was just like a cartoon he would charge at them and hit them in the ass <laughs> so I tried to I spent all day there watching him but people in the ass and then kicking, like, doing a little goat kick, knocking food out everywhere. <laughs> where, where was this? You talking about San, San Antonio Zoo? Oh, I thought it was, like, a high school thing. This, no. is, <laughs> this is why you don't want to go back to San Antonio. No, I do not want to go to San Antonio. So, you, what did you, did you watch it happen? Did you? Oh, well, I experienced it. Oh, so you, you watched it happen and then you went and did it again? No, no, I, did, I, I experienced it first and then I watched oh, it happen. Oh, I see. It's like so some you kind get of something payback. out of it. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see. By the way. Like, why, why do they only have farm animals at petting zoos? That just seems kind of like cheap, right? They should have something more interesting. That was Bernie like calling anacondas. because he yeah. knew I would be the one person in the podcast to forget to turn my phone off to ask if he wanted us, if he, we wanted him to call us him more because he's at the uh, Microsoft keynote. And he can call in updates if we want them. Oh, that'd be oh, he should, yeah. interesting. We'll see. Well, All we right. have to take a break first. So let's figure that out and uh, watch this Drunk Tank Animated Adventure. Griffin's drunk, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Jesus, guys. You drank all Think about this. I was like third grade. His mom's friend came to pick him up. Teacher says, okay, Jeff, you know her, right? And Jeff goes, I've never seen her before in my life. <laughs> this lady's trying to kidnap me. And the friend is like, okay, haha, Jeff, come on. Really, tell her who I am that you know me. And Jeff says, I really don't know. I'm kind of scared by all of everything that's <laughs> happening right now. It got worse because eventually they got me to agree that I knew her. But then I said that the reason I'd lied was because she touched me. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming to you today from the Zeppelin races. There's this barbecue place in Kirkland called Dixie's Barbecue. And they have a, a special hot sauce that they call the man. And the owner will walk around with a little saucepan filled with the man. And he'll ask all the patrons, you want to meet the man? And if you haven't met the man, he'll get a toothpick and dip like a tiny little tenth of a drop on the tip of the toothpick. And say, here, try it. And it's the hottest thing you've ever eaten in your life. It's no joke. That toothpick can ruin your entire day. It and then there's all these newspaper articles on the wall. And some of these articles look like they're from 1965. Because they're so old. But the dude and the pan are in the photos, and they look exactly the same. <laughs> Dateline Mount Fuji. I'm going to tell you something else my brother did to me that was torturous. I'm in the driveway of our house. I go, look, look how close my finger is to my thumb, but they're not touching. And he goes, don't move. And I said, what? He goes, that's the closest anyone's ever gotten, ever. <laughs> I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to call Guinness Book of World Records. Don't move. I must have fucking sat in that driveway for an hour. <laughs> 
And finally, I could hold my arm up anymore. I'm crying. I go in the house, and he's watching fucking TV. I go, "We just get his fucking records." He goes, "You're stupid." <laughs>So speaking of rape, I, I, I just, L.A. Noir is a great game. <laughs> I, I, finally, I finally beat it this week. I didn't even have the slate down. He's talking about I guess. <laughs> so L.A. Noir is good. Yeah, it's really, really you good. You really had to get that off your chest. I did. I love that game. Is there replay playability in that? Uh, like, do you think you could go through the game again and get a different experience? Well, you could certainly get a different experience because the game reacts differently to how well you play it. Uh-huh. But so I guess like you you suck the first time and then you play it again a second time to, to get the good experience and mm-hmm. the good cutscenes and stuff. But uh, I don't see much replay in it. There's no oh. multiplayer and like How many hours would you the say free roam isn't the same as Grand Theft Auto. Like Why not? you don't just drive around and kill people. It doesn't. It's not 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 that that's fun. Not as satisfying. Yeah. Well, and it's just it, the game uh, isn't. Yeah, I tried to, to do that. Like I, I um, I've been playing it pretty much since it came out, and I finished all the street crime yesterday. And I got, you know, I was like, well, there's nothing else to do. Let me run around and shoot civilians. But you can't. You can't shoot you can't civilians. Gun out. And they are spry. <laughs> like, you can try all day long to run them over with a car, but those fuckers can jump. Oh, I can do it. Dive. So the game kind before, of won't like, allow you to play out a character. Kind of won't allow you to play out a character. Is that, so. like, just, I mean, back then, there weren't, weren't, like, a lot of excessive traffic laws. Like, pedestrians weren't necessarily, they didn't always have the right of way back in pedestrians the Pedestrians don't have their, always have the right of way now, That's either. true. That's okay, a misconception. Yeah. It is. They don't? No. Mm-hmm. When do, when, when? Yeah. They have to be in crosswalks, and it has to be a, a, like a designated time to walk. Yeah, but if somebody walks out into the street and you hit them with your car, they are at fault. They are at fault. Uh, they'll get a ticket for it. I, I read somewhere. <laughs> well, so I mean, if you kill them, that's will, not they, manslaughter. No, they will get a ticket posthumously. Well, if they, they just jump what, into the road, what, not, what about the person driving the car? I mean, if it's their fault, then does the person in the car? I mean, is the, he in the, trouble? The, there will probably be. Can you have two people? An investigation. But if they were totally at fault, no, you, nothing will happen to you. My, uh, Does that very not, to, state? not to bring up bad, this no, seems like bad memories, but my ex-wife used to work for <clears throat> DPS, and her job was to code um, traffic incidents. And so she would take these, like, these handwritten traffic incidents, and she'd have to digitize them and put them in a the computer. And she said that like 90% of all incidents where a pedestrian is hit by a car were the fault solely of the pedestrian, and that the pedestrian gets the ticket and the broken legs. <laughs> That's not funny, but weird. You it? no, it's not weird. What? I mean, weird about you should it. follow the rules. Yeah. Follow the rules. Follow the follow the rules. Follow the rules. Cross the cross <laughs> at a crosswalk. Wait for a green light. Yeah, I'm thinking though. None of this would apply to me because I'm never. Yeah, if, you're, if you're driving down Riverside oh, so and there's like those million people crossing illegally, hit them. Well, here, I'm never. I'm are. never going the speed limit. But if if you're oh, well, if you're yeah. drunk while you hit them, is it like split then 50-50? Yeah, 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 that's a different. You're still drunk. You're still driving while intoxicated. They still ran out in the middle of the street. It feels like at least like what is. Don't drive drunk. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm driving drunk. I'm just saying, like, I mean, also, if you're both driving with your eyes closed, what if the, it would be a sp- I mean, what if the pedestrian was also drunk? Ooh. <laughs> what if he was drunk? Complicated. That's <laughs> they just compare, like, blood point, whatever. Whoever's yeah. drunker gets the ticket. Um, she this worked there when game. we started, started dating, right? And she looked me up. Yeah, she did. She investigated you. She said that I was trying to steal her identity. Hmm. How did that go? Did you do it? That I was trying to, because she said I applied for a job there and I never did. No. Weird. Well, she, like, unless, unless you're my... lying to this day about it. No. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just think it's funny and scary. But it wouldn't be that hard for anyone really, to any ex-girlfriend, <clears throat> ex-wife, to look up anything about a person now anyway. No, it's not hard at all. Like you recently took, well, never mind. I'm not going to talk about that. Never mind. All right. There you okay. go. No, you and should talk I'm, about I'm not this. Pulling a joke. You should totally talk no, about this. What's going on? <laughs> so what are you talking about? There's more DLC coming out for L.A. Noir soon, right? <laughs> like, there's there's two out already. I'm talking about L.A. Noir. Is there? Is there? A, yeah, there's one coming out in June, uh, and then one in July. It's the drunk yeah. pack where all the pedestrians. I don't know what the drunk. one in June is called. It's like the Best Buy exclusive. It's like walk the, around the um, map, drunk, drunk, walk in front of cars. Friends. There's two. It's Reefer Madness, and, and I forget what the other one yeah, is. Yeah, Reefer Madness is July, and then the Narc. What year does this take place? 1947. 47. Okay. So it stays in the 40s the whole time? It doesn't progress? 47. 47. Stays in 1947. We can, you don't want us to answer these questions because you want to play the game. No, you're it's right. It's going to fucking ruin the game for you. I'm just yeah, trying no, to be you're interested. Don't, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're going to play the game? Yeah, I, I want to because it looks awesome. I'm going to play a game. It's good. Yeah, it looks awesome. I had to actually, half the weekend Jeff was playing it, so I had to spend most of the weekend in the bedroom because if I came out, I would there would be spoilers. Mm-hmm. So, Jeff, I, maybe maybe you did this on purpose. I don't know. You're like, oh, wait, spoiler, spoiler. And you kept me locked up in the back <laughs> So of the you keep house. your wife in the bedroom <laughs> by playing video games all weekend? I Rapunzel'd her. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's yeah, no, no, no. It was um, it was the like I'll just say like the last mission. Mm-hmm. It takes a long time. It's a it long does. mission, and she would keep coming out and be like, "Oh, what's going on there?" And I'm like, "Don't, yeah, but no, you don't want to." That's not where you want to walk mm-hmm. in, especially if you want to play the game. It ruined so, the whole game for you. Yeah. All of Sunday, I was like in one room, not allowed to come out. Mm-hmm. So would she get the ticket or would you? <laughs> it was for your own protection, sweetie. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. You got to remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many hours of game play? 25? Yeah. I think I played for 21, and in 21, I finished the campaign and all the street crime. <laughs> Yeah, I almost bought her on Friday and was going to play through this weekend, but I didn't. It's good. The, the, the most annoying thing about that game, and I don't think there's a problem on the PS3. It's a problem only on the Xbox version. It is annoying. Is when you go back, like after you finish the game, you can go back and play cases. Like that's how I did the street crime. So I finished the campaign, then I went back to do all the street crime and like little stuff I missed. Side quests. Yeah, side quests essentially. Is you have to, there's, the game takes place over three discs. So when you want to do different cases, you have to swap out between the three discs. That's... And it's you were, annoying. Kind of but you were, you were saying that it was done as smoothly as it could be done, right? It's smooth throughout the campaign. Yeah. Okay. But when you go back and you want to like, oh, I want to do that desk. No, I want to do this one. Um, you could, and, you, and to be fair to the game, you could do all those side quests and stuff while you're on that case. But if you're like Gus and I, you just want to get through the story as quickly yeah. as possible. And then I think I did one street crime the entire I did two. Yeah. How long do you time. think before we that that's never going to be a problem again? Like, there'll never be, like, disc swapping. Well, I mean, it's not a problem on the PS3. Well, it's one, once things move to on demand and you can buy yeah. digital and okay. it's just on your hard drive, it'll be fine. I thought that, like, watching... Or I from think the cloud. At Ooh. least at least from all the games I that I've watched being played, because I haven't, I haven't played, like, a million games or anything, I thought that the transition between cutscene and gameplay was really smooth, like, yeah. compared to well, other games same, I've seen. Same models and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's it's even then, it's really done really well. Like, Griffin would be watching me play, and she'd be like, wait, I don't. are you playing right now, or is this a cutscene? And I'd be like, well, I'm playing right now. And she's like, but I thought that I thought you were playing a second ago. I'm like, nope, that was a cutscene. Mm-hmm. It's like it's really, really yeah. awesome. And you were saying that Millie was watching you too, where like you yep. you didn't even realize that you had been stepped down through a couple of characters and you were a different character. Yeah, she was like, Daddy, are you that guy now? And I was like, No, sweetie, I'm still Yes. Yes, I am that guy. <laughs> <laughs> when did that happen? Yeah, the facial animations are yeah. crazy in that game. Did you have any trouble <laughs> reading the real estate guy? Like the gruff old man? Uh yeah, like the, the squinty eyes. The John Noble character? Yeah. Yeah. The guy that guy was kind of tough. tough. He's tough. He's really tough. There were a couple. There was one case you told me I was going to fuck up, and then sure enough, I did. The I Golden Butterfly. Bad. Yeah. I don't know anyone who's completed that successfully on their first try. Yeah, it was terrible. You terribly shake? difficult. Carrie's shaking his head. Are you worried about spoilers? No. That, that one was terrible. Oh, no, it was yeah. terrible. Okay. Not terrible, like, not good, just, like, terribly hard. It's hard. Yeah. I think that's actually a really cool component of the game, just watching you, like, that, that's what I'm most excited about, just the reading people's faces and, like... I don't know. Has that been done in a video game before? Mm, not like that. No. I think it probably has the most advanced it also, facial animation I've seen. It also doesn't get boring. I, I, I thought it would get repetitive after a while, but it never got boring to mm-hmm. me. Well, it's know. different characters, different motives. I mean, what do you think? What do you What do you think? So far, we've had a lot of games come out already this mm-hmm. year. You got any? Uh, what do you, What are you, What are you looking for? Game of the year? Portal Two so far. Really? I still I still think I like Portal Two more than La Noir. I think I'd pick La Noir. Portal Two was so fun be- between the single player component and then the the co-op as well. I yeah. liked the the ability to play with someone else and try to figure out the puzzles. Yeah, for sure. But like, I look at Portal Two and like co-op and single player together is probably half the time I put into L.A. Noire. Time, the length of a game should not factor. I into agree, that. but like, if if the everything, amount everything of time, should, everything should. Yeah, but length of a game, you you don't penalize a game for being I, ten I, or fifteen I don't hours. Wanna, what if it's I don't. What if it's ten or fifteen quality hours? But if you can get twenty five quality if, hours that are just as what if it's as eight much hours. fun. In, I'm fine with that. I don't know. Well, I, I, I like the story in Eleanor better too. Well, it's seven hours. As far as replay, <laughs> like, at some point, there's got to be a line, right? You no, s- you say that there's not like you would don't foresee a lot of replay <clears throat> value in it. But what about you for Portal Two? For me, no. But for some people, I'm sure for achievements. Okay. Oh, right, because you don't care about achievements. I would say same same level of replay between those two games. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's mainly a styles thing because Eleanor is definitely more of a your style kind it's of game. It's true. It's true. And Portal Two is more of a your you style. That. Well, no, because I read a lot of like Dash Hammond. Yeah, he, he's into that stuff. sort of theme. And honestly, like you're not really when it comes to the games you like. I mean, is that really your style of game? No, normally I hate those kinds of games. Okay, but uh, you like this. One? But I liked Eleanor. I thought it was done really well. It, it addressed all the problems I had with those open world games. Well, it does seem to have like it kind of guides you, right? Like you, mm-hmm. it, you seem to be pretty from what I've seen, like what it's I was allowed to see. Extremely linear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Like I like being told what to do. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't want, want to be left to my own devices. No, Gus, Gus doesn't like to be overwhelmed with choices. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I hated about Grand Theft Auto 4. It was a great game, but it's just like, it was just too much to do. I, I couldn't handle it. I didn't know what to do, so God, I, I shut totally, down and I quit playing. feel totally the opposite. Same here. Yeah, I like, you like being open. Able to yeah, I want to do my thing. 
<laughs> do my thing. <laughs> you do your Joel Heyman thing. thing. What, what is your favorite game of all time, Joel? Uh, you may have already been asked this on the Drunk Tank. Shit, I don't know. That's a good question. Favorite game of all time. Speaking of old game, I'm going to help Joel out here a little bit. We talked about Descent in the last podcast. You remember what we were talking about. But then after the podcast, I sent you that video yeah. of Descent gameplay That's, footage. It's and so weird. It's just like when you see footage, it's like, oh, I think I remember that game. And you see it, it's like it's like uh, like smelling fresh, fresh cut grass on spring, you know? It's just like it brings back the memories yeah. of everything. You realize you played that game extensively. Yeah, yeah. It's And I totally forgot so about it. like a it. Wonder Years moment with that It game. was totally a Wonder Years moment. Like a monologue <laughs> came out and her narrator. It was... Yeah, that game was that was crazy. It was a good. That game. was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So you don't you don't know what your favorite game of all time is? I God, that's. It. What have you played the most in the last five years? Uh, what have I played the most? I'm gonna go with um, Halo, right? Pong. You played the most Pong in the past five <laughs> um, years. I think you're drunk. Yeah, maybe. No, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I I really do like the Grand Theft Auto series. I, Halo's certainly got to be in there. I just started um, playing Halo. You, no one told me about Forge. Then no one told me about it. <laughs> really? We didn't we tell you? You, you didn't get the office well, memo about me Forge? Halo was awesome. Nobody told you me. You haven't seen Griffball or <laughs> anything else? You haven't seen like Horse or anything yeah. else made in Forge? No, I, it's a total surprise. Anyway, apparently Halo is great. No, I'm, I'm really I'm invested now. I'm going to get good at it. The best the best mm-hmm. thing in the world, by the way, is mm-hmm. watching a drunk Griffin spend 30 minutes trying to line up two blocks together. <laughs> oh, God. It's fucking shitty. Okay, I think that and maybe you can do this, but you didn't seem to know. Can you adjust your controller to have different sensitivities? So if you, your block doesn't go either sink into the ground or go like five feet above an object, um, help me with yeah, the blocks. Yeah, you, you be sober. <laughs> no, yeah. it wasn't that. It's, it's acceleration. I've tried it in various states, and I have the same issue. You know, it was a lot worse in the previous version of Halo where they didn't phase into one another, where they were just Phasing bang helps. into each other. That was like... Yeah, that's obnoxious. Yeah, that for, was, fortune, I thought that would help me because then it would like rest on top of it, but then I couldn't get it like completely flat. Yeah. You, yeah. you can if you're like if you're super like a perfectionist and you want everything to fit perfectly that can drive you insane. Yeah. Because it's like no, it's not quite perfectly there. That you'll spend forever. Well, anyway, so I'm I'm jumping into Forge. So if anyone wants to play with me, no. You, you're gonna. Help? I'll I'll I'll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Although I don't know that. What are you doing in Forge? Where I'm are just, you? I'm just Forge? making stuff. Like I really I was like what. Originally, I was I was gonna do it because I really wanted to. I make think a, it was a good tool for you. I really wanted to make a horse map, but I think I'm a long way away <laughs> from that. I'm like, I'm in like Forge 101 right now. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just trying to get fucking blocks. You should make a horse map that can't actually be solved. No, part and of the stipulation is you, they have to submit a video of yeah. them doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, like you have to be able to use yeah, but it. but you're on the inside. No, you're not. Those rules no. don't apply no. to you. Every rule. More, rule more rules apply inside. to me than other people. You're on the inside. You've got extra <laughs> rules. Yeah. Like you have to stay <laughs> yeah. in the bedroom. It'll you, be, you can't watch video games. <laughs> It'll be a while before I'm ready, but I do, like, I'm, I want to play it. Hmm. So anyway, yeah. So I, if none of you know, Halo is pretty cool. <laughs> I, I heard a few th- good things about that game. <laughs> what about you? What's your favorite game in the past five years? Favorite game in the past five years? I'm going to go with Fable 2, Viva Pinata, or Halo Reach. Hmm. Probably Halo Reach because there's more replayability than the other two. Reach is fantastic. Like Viva Pinata? At it. Viva Pinata, Trouble in Paradise, was fantastic. Just fantastic. I can't get that it. Probably, 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 Have probably you played it? 40 hours. I tried to play it. I remember it's when you and Bernie were going you, through. It's stressful. Hit a... Wait, Excel it's got, it's got spreadsheets. spreadsheets. You like spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah. Um, spreadsheets. It, it, I, I couldn't <laughs> handle, I mean, the little cute animals and I, it was just, I couldn't. Professor Pester. Uh, and the the yeah. fucking pests are the worst, right? I yeah. just, I couldn't even, I didn't even get that far. I just. The, okay. the hardest part of that game is fertilizing a tree before it runs out of water. It's a bitch. It's a bitch. Getting the three fertil- fertilizers in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have no idea. <sighs> you haven't played it? I, 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 like Joel, I tried, but I just couldn't get into it. How about no. you, Gus? Um, favorite game? Last five years. I would have to say either Reach, Mass Effect 2, or Fallout 3. Not and I know Fallout 3 is a contradiction based on my, I hate open world games. But there's something about that game that was fun. Yeah. Are you not including WoW in this? Oh. Uh, I was thinking Xbox only. I thought we were talking Xbox. I said game, but if you want to make it Xbox, then we can make it Xbox. <laughs> well, 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 definitely well, well, I probably played more WoW than anything else. I probably. Easily. I would think so. <laughs> Are you, okay, playing, I, I do, probably, are you still playing? Right now, no, I'm not playing WoW. I'm off again. Huh. I'll be back on soon, I'm sure. Like, they, they unveiled new dungeons in the 4.1 patch. I still haven't gotten around to. And actually, I'm a little put off by that. Like, I feel like now, like, I, did, I wasn't playing at that time because I was busy. 
And now it's been so long, I don't want to be like the new person who doesn't know what's going on playing those. So now I'm staying away because like as time goes on, I'm more and more behind. So you get, do you get nervous then? You yeah, because like, I don't want to be anxiety. Stuff up. Yeah, because you were saying you, you logged out once because you embarrassed oh yourself, right? Oh my God, right? yeah. What did it happen again? <laughs> like I, uh, I, I forget the exact circumstances, but I think we were in the middle of a boss fight. And I moved and pulled trash into the boss fight. And, and caused the party to wipe. Yeah, caused and I started wipe. yelling at you so you logged like, off. I, like, I didn't want to see the chat window, so like, I moved the window so I couldn't see it and quit. I don't know what you just said. I don't know the trash wipe. I'm not sure what the trash wipe. Oh, it was so embarrassing. I, I pulled extra enemies into a fight oh. so that we, we all got killed. Yeah, and then they were so mad at him that he hit his chat window. I didn't want and to see what they to, were saying because I was so embarrassed. He didn't want people to know who he well, was. <laughs> that's like the kind of thing I feel like Luckily, that was like an inner server uh, uh, dungeon finder party. If that had Luckily. been on my server, I probably would have had to transfer and change my name, <laughs> so they, they couldn't find me. Like a witness protection program. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would like never be able to show my face uh-uh. again there. I've I've avoided games before because it's been like, oh, I'm not as sharp as I'm gonna be, and then I just don't play and it gets worse and worse and worse. And yeah. it's just like, well, I can never pick this up again. Yeah. Yeah. My skills are degraded. Yeah, it's supposed to be fun, right? And if when you get to the point where you start to get like graded almost and like how good you are it's stressful you know yeah. it ceases to be a game at that yeah. point yeah it's everything is accountability at this point everything's traced <laughs> you know, yeah, everything. That's true. they know once, how many shots you fire they know how many hit I mean it's yeah, like, every, like with World of Warcraft once you play and you're playing like end game stuff it's like oh they're looking at your damage per second and your spell rotation it's like oh you should be doing you know this XYZ rotation instead for an extra 1,000 DPS. Do people come up and give you an unasked for advice? Oh, all the time. <laughs> the best is when, like, you know, I play a healer and damage dealer. The best is when I'm healing and the damage classes are telling me how to heal. It's like, fuck you. I l- so I let them die when they do that. Yeah, that's a good lesson. Yeah, it's like, oh, I guess I should have been doing a better job. Inner office politics in gaming. I fucking hate people. I, in general, I hate people that come up and give you fucking advice and you don't ask them for it. Drives me fucking crazy. Why are you looking at me? I'm not. No, not you. You were there. We went roller skating yesterday. We took Millie roller skating for the first time yesterday. Were you roller skating wrong? No, she was great. Like she at first, like she couldn't even stay up because it was her first time on roller skates. Because she's five and she's never been on roller skates. Yeah, in her life. and then by the end of the day, like she fell down so many times, but she was smiling the whole time. She didn't cry once. She, by the end of the day, she was like skating. Like she fell down a few times, and then the fucking guy who's like. Had some kid Miss, like Mr. Roller Skate. He was like doing flips and he kept like. He was doing, doing flips? Well, like he was flipping the kid over and oh. he ended up doing these like, you know. How old was the kid? Triple axis or whatever. Like. Triple axel. Yeah, the <laughs> kid was like 10. Mm. I don't know the words. He's like the, he's like the, the, the roller skating, skating pro yeah, at, the, uh-huh. at the rink. I need to learn. He's the ringer? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he was like, he came up because he thinks he's fucking, you know, all that. And it was like, you were trying really hard out there today. He's like, you know what you should do is get on the carpet and start practicing on the carpet. And we're like, fuck you. She's been fine on the big, you know, circuit the whole day. Like, yeah, Griffin was really, I was really annoyed. Cause really he was receptive. just like, now get down like this and then ease your way up. And I'm just, and she was just like, so did okay. she do better when you moved to the carpet? No, she, no, she, she already knew how to skate at carpet. that point. No, but it's like, I don't know. I, I was really proud of her. And then I felt like he came up at the end when she should be feeling good and tried to like get her to be re- like he tried to remedialize her. <laughs> like she went from not being never having roller skates on her feet <clears throat> to being able to roller skate by herself by the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, she would go like short distances, but she could do it, you know, and she was fine. And then he came up and was just like trying to give her all this advice. And I just got super annoyed with that. And he kept like telling to us like what we should do to make her more confident. I'm like, she's confident. She's falling down all this time. She's been laughing the whole time. She's been up and doing it. She doesn't have a confidence issue. Mm-hmm. Don't come here and start talking about carpet. <laughs> Griffin's anti-carpet for the no, record. No, I just... <laughs> but that happens... I just hate it when people just come up and they think that they can advise you. It's like, who the fuck are you to come up and tell me how to do something? Mr. Roller Skate, that's who he is. <laughs> right, it was we, on his shirt. we got to take another break for uh, another Drunk Tank animated adventure. This is the new one we showed gonna, at uh, RTX the other oh, week. Yeah. Uh, so check this out. It's a new Drunk Tank animated adventure. And uh, we'll be right back. I heard that your kid threatened your wife with physical violence the other day. (laughs) She did. The other day, uh, Millie said, Mom, I want to watch a movie. I want to watch, I think, Totoro or some shit. Griffin said, no, no, we're going to go to the grocery store. You can watch the movie later, maybe, if you're a good girl. And Millie said, Mommy, it would be sad if you broke your nose. And Griffin said, excuse me? And she goes, I'm saying, it would hurt really bad if you broke your nose. It would be sad. And Griffin goes, are you threatening me? And Millie goes... (laughs) You'd have to get a new nose, and that would hurt. <laughs> She's yeah. doing like a mafia style fucking shakedown yeah. on my wife. Boy, you got a lot of nice things around here, mommy. <laughs> Be a shame if something got broken. Yeah, so I don't know where she got that from, but I mean, 
she watches The Godfather a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video of uh, that A380 hitting that little plane? That reinforces our rant about air travel. Exactly. Imagine if you're one of two cunts sitting in a plane, right? <laughs> and you've got your fucking camera out, and you're browsing through your photos of your fucking dog, and all of a sudden, your plane does a 90-degree turn. You don't have any teeth left because you just ate that fucking camera. Or it flies out of your hand and hits a baby in the eye. You just blinded a baby because you wanted to show your friend cute pictures of your fucking dog. That's the sound of a delicious snack. Come right here. There. I'll put some of your nuts in my mouth. Come on. Uh, Bring them this way. Well, you had, you had a momentary day of weakness. You were like, get out, buy gold. I was right. <laughs> I was right. So, the day we had the meeting, you were there. You were there, and I don't think you were there. <laughs> I said, listen, commodities, DIY. DIY is up 33% since that day. That's so... SLV's up like 25%. SLW's up 25%. No one I'm knows right, what you're talking like about. Three, like, I, do you understand this If you go back, if no, you go back, right. check podcasts from two years we ago. I said, the Rangers, I said the Rangers are going to be in the World Series. Everything happened. I'm all over it. You can't stop me. I have no idea what we were talking about. Uh, I don't know either. How did we we're already talking, lose track? We were talking about games or something. <laughs> Why do you have the moonshine in your hands, Joel? This is the greatest label ever. This All is right. awesome. Why, why is that? Why is <laughs> it just looks so over? homemade and stuff. Well, you put it in a jar and it automatically. Yeah, it's true. The jar's doing 90% of the work there. <laughs> it's like authentic. So you got authentic? Authentic. Authenticity. <laughs> Authentic? Authenticity. If you're holding the jar, you can say anything any way you want to. Yeah, apparently. That's right. Uh, all you have to have is the jar and two shots of those cherries. <laughs> it's got a label on a label. Fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think that stuff is uh, 100 proof. It's 50% alcohol by yeah. volume. 100 proof. Hey, so this is from, where did we get this? Uh, Dan Jitsu from the website gave it to us during RTX. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think Gus mentioned that. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, mm. I did. Sorry, I had but a chair. I'll, I'll, I'll give him another <laughs> shout out. It's cool. He's a very, very cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think he, he's he trying said, to kill us. but Yeah, he's trying to, to, to damage me internally. Not the way you do. Aw, oh, thanks, bud. He said that for me. <laughs> what? Nothing. We've so, known each other a lot longer than I've known you. <laughs> it's a legacy thing. <laughs> <laughs> legacy support. Yeah. Um, I feel like we had a, a point that we were making earlier. Yeah, I don't know about that. We're, like, you were complaining about, about roller skates. About roller skates. That's what we're talking about. Oh, no, no. We can leave it. We can let it go. I Long story okay. short, our kid can roller skate, but we're not allowed to go back to that roller skating rink. <laughs> we're slowly marking things off. The things, yeah. places we can't go in Austin. Yeah. Every place that didn't hire me when I was looking for work. Yeah, it's adding up. Yeah, it is. We're going to say something, Brandon? Yeah, I think everybody forgot what we were talking about in the last segment because the uh, in-between conversation was fucking depressing. <laughs> <laughs> we started off with Hitler, and then where did we go? AIDS? Oh, right. oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nobody's got it. <laughs> um, That's not we, a depressing conversation. We, sh we, we should AIDS stop free. talking between takes. Like, we should have a, a no-talking rule. nobody's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. What a ringing endorsement. <laughs> um, Tagline, baby. Tagline. So we've started initial uh, RTX year two planning. Yeah, how's that going? Slow. Yeah, we got time to plan though. Um, mm -hmm. You say that now. I can't wait to, to talk well, to you in nine months. Well, when it comes months. to <laughs> venues, though, I mean, you have to get them pretty far in advance. Yeah, that was funny. That when we no, I shouldn't talk about our hope. Well, I do can't it. Though, right? See, it's like if you yeah, you're don't come on, Griffin. Don't don't be a don't Joel. Joel. Don't yeah. Joel. I'm gonna it. be a Joel. All right, I'm gonna do it. Um, <laughs> when we were first uh, after we we got the spike in the attendees and we were trying to figure out what to do with them, we had to find a hotel that could accommodate so we were looking calling around the different hotels in austin and like we got downtown we got kind of laughed out of they were like oh you mean this year yeah they were, they were like <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were literally like oh i thought you meant may of 2012 you mean like in a month oh no 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 way <laughs> they're just like and just so you know you're stupid for trying yeah like <laughs> like really condescending and awful but when we got to our hotel they were like they did the same thing they're like this year <laughs> well i'll see what i can do and then <laughs> they were like, came back and they were fine but that was like one of the major selling selling points that they were available and they did a great job. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, love. Actually, it, can I tell well. you, I, when we we weren't expecting anything because of the, we weren't really sure about it. When we went in, it was actually really cute. I liked yeah. the decor. Did you guys up, get up to the uh, the higher floors at all? No, it's like a fucking palace over Is there. It? Yeah, and we were we were down in like the lower floors where it was like water damage. And <laughs> what were you doing in the upper floors? I was trying to get break into the hotel. Luckily, I I got in. Oh, good. I Why think. were you breaking into the hotel? I didn't want to go around in the lobby and take the long way, so I just came straight from the garage, and none of the, all the doors were locked, so I just kept going up and down trying to find a way in. Luckily, I got in the rich floor. 
And then like people, I was like walking you know, by, funny. and they were like just like these like old people just like staring at me, like you know, I, it's like this, the peasant. This, this, the peasant this, this, has people who couldn't get a room at the Four Seasons. <laughs> I stayed at the fucking Double Tree by bikinis. So were there guys with like top hats and monocles walking through the halls? They they were eating uh, what, what's that? What what, 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 caviar? Are, what are rich people eat? Yeah, caviar. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. And they're just like <laughs> the pinky up. That's how you knew it was fancy. Yeah. I was trying to get out of the hotel in an easy way myself See? and so I went down I found some staircase and I went down to the bottom and it said you know don't go through door alarm will sound um, which I ran into the same scenario in Toronto and um, I was sort of like fuck it I'm just gonna go through the goddamn door and so I went through the door and closed the door and an alarm sounded <clears throat> oh it did yeah it sure so did and then bullshit. I was trapped in a building and I ran, ran through the building and there was another door don't Hit this door, or alarm will sound. That one went too. You know, <laughs> so it got louder. So you were just <laughs> setting off alarms as you're going. And, to but the then hotel? I was scot free. Then I was scot free. Then I was walking down. <laughs> did you think? Did you think the second one would cancel out the first one? Well, at that point, it was sort of like just you know. Well, he had done one bad thing and another bad thing, so two negatives would be a positive, right? Yeah. So. I had an incident when I first moved to Austin, kind of similar to that, where my mom was in town. I was looking for stuff to do, and I read in the paper on like a Thursday that they were going to reopen the UT Tower. Which was closed in the '60s after after the uh, shooting. After the shooting, yeah, and it hadn't been open in 40 years. And I thought, well, we'll just go to that. And I guess between Thursday and the Saturday I went, they decided not to reopen the tower. But I didn't see that paper, so I took my mom. And then the building was open, and there was some stuff under construction. And we went buy some construction tape. Long story short, we ended up kind of in the tower, trapped, and we couldn't get out. And going up and down floors, kind of like Joel, trying to find ways in and out. And then finally, we were stuck on like a basement floor, and we had to stand there until a construction worker let us up. How long were you there for? Probably an hour. Wow. wow. Yeah. And I actually got to the floor where the tower was on, but I couldn't get past that layer of security. I, yeah. yeah, I've been there. Yeah. What's that? I've been there. Yeah, yeah it was confusing. I wanted to stay, stay well to the... To the oh, really? Can I, here, but I think I don't understand. I understand that, yeah, it's a problem. The guy got on the tower and shot a bunch of people. But there are lots of towers. There are I, lots of I tall agree. buildings. It's I agree like, completely with this. This is like, let's just open up the tower. Like, yeah. do they think if they open the tower, just, just everyone with security. a gun is going to come yeah, it's to like, the thing? Yeah, it's like, don't allow guns in the tower. I mean, this is not going to stop somebody. If somebody wants to go shoot people. Does everybody know there was a pro-gun policy There's in only the tower one... before the shooting? Well, it's Texas. Was... I'm sure there was no policy. You know, you know what's crazy? The, the tower got so damaged because normal people, just like private citizens, took their guns to the tower and were shooting at the guy. And they're just blowing the shit out of the tower. Yeah. It totally supports every every Texas stereotype out there. Yeah, that they were like they heard were fighting, a stampede of cattle at the tower. They were fighting, <laughs> knock it over. <laughs> they were fighting for justice in the American way. Isn't Rick Perry <laughs> trying to allow students at UT to be able to carry guns in the classrooms now? Um, there's there's I don't know. If, I think that law got struck down. But oh, there, did was, it? there, no, there was a, a proposal for that. And they're, they're that fighting the, the uh, TSA right now. W- right, oh yeah? You said that he did. Um, there was a law now about uh, sonograms, right? For abortion patient or like yeah that got want passed to have it got passed so that yeah. now if a woman in texas wants to get an abortion she has to look at a sonogram which is well, she doesn't have to look it up she's required to get a sonogram and then she have can, the option she can, of has, being then shown she it. can refuse to be shown it, but she has to sign an affidavit saying that she's but how much more refused. expensive so how do the guns work into this it's a good question. <laughs> and then can, talk, can we, just, can we follow gun. this up with religion next? I'd love to <laughs> get some more hot button every, issues in no, here. No, no. I'm not saying one thing or another about abortion. I'm just saying, I think it's interesting. It's like, if we're having problems with money, why, you know. Forcing yeah. tests on people. How yeah. am I going to edit our previous conversation <laughs> into our next conversation, cutting this you one out? Like a, okay you should just do like a, you should do like a girl talk podcast where you just <laughs> cut everything together style. Yeah, it just, it doesn't have to make sense. You're okay with talking about Hitler, but like. Can't talk about well, everyone knows Hitler's bad. It's not. It's not an ambiguous uh, but discussion. He, but you said. Do you think can, Hitler's good? No, hey, I listen, listen, listen. Discussion? But interstate. Right, Hitler was a sonogram at some point. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get real. So you bring up an excellent point. It all ties in. Maybe yeah. if his mom had been forced to see that sonogram and she would have sent the tiny little mustache, <laughs> she would have known. She would have been like, that does not look good. <laughs> Something weird about it. We can take care of this. He ruined that mustache. He did. He ruined the name and the mustache for you. You, you, can, never, you can never have a mustache like that again. Do you know who's got the Hitler mustache? Who? Fucking Michael Jordan. Have you seen him lately? Does he? Oh, he's yeah, got yeah, the, he does. He's totally got the Hitler mustache. Yeah, he he's does. He's working it. I don't, I yeah. don't know what his well, name is. He's trying to. He's got, he's, you know, he's Michael Jordan. He is Michael yeah. Jordan. I saw him in a commercial the other day and I was like, 
Wow. Yeah, that's a little yeah, interesting he's, he's choice. Like, let me test how people, how much people really like me. Yeah, yeah. no, he's Let's like, he's like, like can this. Michael Jordan do wrong? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's just slowly. He could get into gambling. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he he's pretty much a symbol at this point. He's not even a person anymore. He's Didn't Michael he's just Jordan. He's just like, that guy. Dad get murdered yep. too because of uh, gambling debts. Gambling debts. <laughs> well, no, he got murdered. For no reason. For no reason. Ah, but there were, certainly yeah. wasn't related. To and he he's, he gambles like crazy. I Jordan gambles like crazy. I don't get gambling. I get it because I've never been good I, at it. So there's never been anything enticing. Well, about you're it. sitting, you're sitting next to the right person. Didn't he but cheat on his wife too? I don't. Did he? I thought he did. Maybe I'm wrong. I've heard that. Yeah. Maybe what I'm getting him a Magic Johnson. What I do. What how I do, do how is do not gamble gambling. To the point of getting your legs broken and getting shot <laughs> or whatever. Like, how does that become exciting enough? Like, you're losing money, losing, losing, losing. At what point is it like okay maybe well, I, this usually, is the, this is what I should be doing? Usually, usually it's the winning, winning, winning. Well, you're your losing. Broken. <laughs> See, Joel you're, doesn't you're actually game. Game. Joel just books plane it's a tickets to it's a Vegas, system. gets There's Jack no to go, and then backs There's out the last minute. You gamble on whether or not Joel's actually yeah. going. Yeah. The gamble is will Joel show up in Vegas? That's right. No, no, it's a system. Jack bets wrong every time. There were books written about it. It's absolutely fascinating about these guys in MIT. It's an amazing story. It's a system. Someone from the website sent me one of those books. That was a movie, right? The Eudaimonic Pie. Terrible movies, but yeah. the <laughs> true stories underneath them are incredibly fascinating. Mm-hmm. And uh, they ran, they, they started an LLC. Yeah, in the book I read that was sent, uh, they had built like little computers that sat in their shoes that like, wirelessly transmitted, and they would oh, like this is a different. This yeah, is they different. would like step down on their heel to no, indicate pluses or minuses. Yeah, no, no, no. no. This I, is I not. Think, I think yeah, this is like of, uh, this is not what I'm talking about. No, this is also an MIT. This is like a more advanced. Well, there was a there was a group in the '60s, and then there was a group in the '90s. Yeah, there was two the, different groups. I think so Joel was there was that when Joel was in high school and when we were in high school, <laughs> essentially. I think Joel's thinking of bringing down the house. It was really Bring funny they, they made that movie and they changed all the characters to be white because like yeah. they're actually all Asian in the story because that's one of the reasons was, they got away with it. Wasn't it called Twenty One? Or was it bringing? Down I think the, the movie house? was Twenty One. I think one the of book the reasons is they got away with it. What do you mean? In the book, they explained that um, if they were all white. The Vegas would have been more suspicious that they were counting cards, well, a lot, a lot but because them. they confused them with like a, a lot of uh, travelers from uh, from Asia who would come in and maybe you know just spend money. <laughs> that's how they kind of slipped under the radar. Read the book. Well, a lot, a lot of them were white though, but the, there's a Russian guy. The Russian guy was. I'm pretty Asian. sure they were all predominantly Asian, and then in the movie, I'm, I'm, they were just I'm like, sure more than two two groups have done this. <laughs> I'm sure we're all maybe. I'm just saying the the, the, yeah, the movie Twenty One and the so. book bring that up. Yeah. Is but this it, what you and Jack were going to do when you got cold feet? Is that essentially what happened? What? <laughs> you had some computers in your shoes? No. You backed out at the last minute? No? No, no. I don't need anyone. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I don't need anyone. Joel's a rock. I, I, do right. just, I do just fine. Why aren't you going to Vegas? What's the most no. you've ever lost? Uh, what's the most I've ever lost? Uh, I lost about... I shouldn't get into this. Yeah, you should. I lost about five thousand dollars in a half an hour. Wow! Oh God! See, I think that would be that would be the end. But if one more, for me. yeah. But then you win. You're like, I'm going to get it back. That you keep going. Did right? you get it back? On that particular trip, I did not. But that was Sunday afternoon. We catch okay. a flight. What's the most you've ever won? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. I wanna What's your home address? What did you buy <laughs> with the winnings? Oh come on! But that's not that's not very much. I mean, it's not very much of the big picture. I mean, that's small f- stuff. That's all small stuff. No, but I'm asking you specifically how much you've won. What's the most you've ever won at one time? <laughs> a Just lot. Just answer my question. It's I, very easy. I don't want to argue with you, Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> you say that to me all the time. <laughs> like, who's arguing? We're just having a conversation. No, no. Your wife is relentless. I know. I have not. Oh, that's such it's like the Warren Report here. That's so it's the CIA or something. What? I don't understand why. There's, and there's no, there's so no computers. I didn't, ask, computers. I didn't computers. ask you if you pay taxes on it or what you did with the money. I'm just asking how much you made <laughs> Oh, God, time. you're making I'm, it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find out. Now you're indicting him on, on tax fraud. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> I've never won any money, Griffin. <laughs> tax avoidance. Okay. No, but if you can... I just want to see... I don't understand the appeal of gambling. If you can lose 5000 on in a half an hour period, what is the appeal? How much can you win? Five thousand and one dollars. What's the most you've ever won? I'll, you want, I'll teach you the system. We all learn this. I've been trying to teach him the system. He won't get into it. I know it. the system. Do you? Yeah. I even have that app on my phone. Great. Yeah. It's an app. Just so we're just so we're all clear. Just so we're all clear. When you're playing, there's no computers or blah blah blah. It's just it's a, you learn it. It's just to learn. It's there's a one way to play, and then. Counting. Joel, what's your choose. desktop? What's your desktop background look, on your computer see, upstairs? Look, Joel, <laughs> what's your desktop background? <laughs> Joel, it Seriously. is the blackjack chart. <laughs> Joel, is that? That's it right there. That's the system for six deck shoe. Yeah, for six deck shoe. <laughs> six deck, six deck shoe. Right, There's a rule. It's different. If you've got less, if you got less right. decks or more decks, then it's different. 
but traditionally it's six decks. How many? How many how what's the? How six, many? Eight is about. How many decks do they normally serve in Vegas? Usually six, but you, now they've been upping it to eight. Mm. So Planet Hollywood's been doing eight, which kind of caught me by surprise. But the rules are almost the same for. Let me guess, it's better for the house. Yeah, well, it makes it harder because mm. now you're trying to count to eight instead of six. It's just more work. I yeah. see. No, but I'm here. So, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> I mean, I'm, right. Have you been taking into any, you know, why, taken why, in any why, back why, rooms in Vegas? Why am I? Why, no, 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 no. Why am I? Why am I uh, destroying my whole life over a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> what, for what reason am I doing this? You know what? In what way are you destroying your life? Destroying it. What my life have is you, destroyed. What, have you, what in the entire so every podcast you've been on? What have you so said destroyed. that was? Well, first off, he's drunk at nine a.m. on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not good. Have yeah, yeah. another cherry. And there's Joel's, video proof of it. Joel's mo is like, I'm going to tell. No, I'm not going to tell you the story. I think of all the embarrassing things that we've shared on this podcast, and you won't even tell me how well, much I'm, fucking I'm money you made. Well, I'm definitely not running one... for president at this point. That's out. That's out. Out. Just tell me how much fucking money you no, made I can't at one tell. time. I'll tell you oh later. Oh my god, I'm so mad at you, Joe. He'll Rel- tell you later. Relentless. This is Relentless. what it's like to be married, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're in a strong. Joel's not sharing. Yeah. So, do you guys want to move on? Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> we're not. Like, we're on. not talking about gambling anymore. We can move on. He, he, we're talking about gambling. We're just talking about what are you guys most anticipating at E3. Um. I guess according to Xbox.com, Halo Four. That's that's a pretty that's a pretty big deal. Do you think? I mean, we'll know by the time this podcast comes out what the truth is. But do you think maybe it was just a bluff? I don't know. Yeah, it's a good question. We'll know in forty-five minutes. Is it forty-five? I think we'll know in ten minutes. Which means? Oh bo- shit! You're right. We will. Yeah, we'll know in ten minutes. See the little hands on the four. When the little hand gets down there, you'll be set. You- what else? <laughs> what else are you <laughs> anticipating? Uh, I don't know. There's a. The best thing about E3 is it's, it's, the, stuff stuff you don't it's the stuff you don't anticipate. Yeah, the yeah. stuff that comes out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. The surprises. Suppose there's a rumor that there's a Connect on Rails gear shooter coming, which sounds I don't like on Rails. I don't like on Rails yeah. stuff either. But it'd be interesting to see core, f- you know, core games being uh, integrated into Connect. I don't. I mean, I, I prefer Connect to Move. But one thing Move has over Connect is it has a button. Mm-hmm. So like for trigger pulling. For precise timing, mm-hmm. connect. I don't know how you would do that, so I don't understand. This. Yeah, but it's also not precise. It's the the system interpreting it versus <laughs> like an actual physical button. Yeah, I don't know. Like late, latency seems. I don't like trust be a big the system deal. to interpolate. Yeah, interpolate. Interpolate. <laughs> We're creating our own dictionary this week. <laughs> we are. It's a word. A word. <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> a word. What are you most looking forward to, Griffin? What from E three? E3? Mm. Oh, wait. You said that they might be announcing Fable 4. Is that right? Uh, there was a uh, rumor that they were going to announce a new game called Fable the Journey. Because okay. somebody uh, found a uh, like a domain registration for that. So I can't tell you if I'm excited about that or not. Why is that? Because Fable... Th- you know, I say that I uh, that I didn't enjoy, f- but I think that I just didn't play far enough. Um, with Fable Two, I enjoyed the game much more after I beat it, mm-hmm. and it was all the stuff afterwards that came that I liked. Um, in Fable Three, I got to that point and I was about to jump into that, and then my fucking game was my save game was corrupt, oh, and I yeah, have to start right. over. And I can do it; it'll go a lot faster because I don't have to worry about getting the achievements that slow it down, like but not not falling, not falling, um, being ultimately good. Let me, like, yeah, those yeah. Kinds let me, of let me give you a hint: it doesn't. doesn't it doesn't get better. Doesn't get better. No. Yeah, because they took they simplified it. Fable, yeah. Fable 3 was a letdown. So they that's simplified it, but then there was some stuff they didn't simplify. Like it was over. I felt like the game was overly simplified, but then when you were property managing, there was no way to toggle like an auto repair on all your buildings. It was buildings. the only yeah. problem I had with that game. Or like I liked a, it a lot more than you. But it was at least the repair map, sucked. But the map in Fable 3 made it a lot easier to manage your property. Yeah, so. yeah but the map also ruined like traveling and open world yeah, stuff. Yeah. The map wasn't a map, first of all. You couldn't look at that map and figure out where you were in correlation yeah. at all yeah. at any point. It was useless. Yeah, like you didn't know where you were. No, yeah. No, that's true. Um, it's an insult to call them And the them thing that. That, I, that I enjoyed about Fable 2 was the complicated, like how it complicated the social stuff was, so it was more challenging and it was more interesting. And it, they streamlined it to the point where there was no point in doing that stuff right. anymore. Right, right. Yeah. So. Like the best part about Fable 2 was watching your wife's character go anywhere and watching townspeople just run for <laughs> her. <laughs> she was a bad character. Yeah, she was. She, didn't she get mad? She was like, she took all the money and let her dog die and she was <laughs> mad that people didn't like her? Yeah. <laughs> She plays, she plays the game how she wants. Yeah. Everyone can play but the game their own way. We played uh, Dungeons and Dragons with her, and like within the first 10 minutes, she had murdered somebody in the party. And accused was, another person of rape. Accused somebody <laughs> of raping her. Like, <laughs> She got, some she people want to get that, the she conflict going it. quick. You know, you get, get interesting <laughs> She point. was fun to play with. And she's actually really good at miniature painting. Yeah. yeah. She loves miniatures. 
She did like patterns and everything. That's true. <laughs> on the clothing. She's got an eye for detail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much. I know more about her characters than I do her about her own life. She's mysterious. Is, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, I felt like. She doesn't okay. like too many people to know about her because uh, she doesn't want to leave a trail. Right. <laughs> Your wife might be a serial killer. She's just going to disappear. She might. I'm, I wouldn't. If, if It's one of those things where like you see the She does make me stay like, out of the shed. You're, they were like, <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, Bill was such a quiet neighbor. He never caused any problems. <laughs> You, I if I would I love your wife I love hanging out with her but if I turned on the news one night and you were dead and they were and like one of your neighbors who was also one of my neighbors was like yeah I never suspected Esther the, <laughs> you know, know Jeff is going to be next now the the new Austin the Austin nerd Strangler. murderer or whatever <laughs> nerd murder. I like I def- how to, to think that I could live next to a woman who killed forty seven nerds I would be like <laughs> yeah I, I could see that okay the thing that I um. The, another pet peeve of mine, if you guys want to know, is that the people that are, and this doesn't apply to your wife, I love your wife, and she's actually really spunky. I don't know if I can, mm-hmm. she's really fun um, and mean and all the great, like you guys work really well together, I think, for that reason. But people that are, can assume that they're nice because they're quiet. I fucking hate that when people are like, this person adds nothing to the conversation. Oh, they're so nice. Yeah. Oh, they're so nice. This person's so nice. It's like, you don't know anything about this person. They just didn't open their mouth. Yeah. And so you're gonna, that's the thing that you can say about them. It drives me crazy. All right. Well, we got to wrap this up. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, we got we're, we're press conferences conversation. to get to. Long streaming. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll be back uh, next week with an audio podcast. Ta-ta. Mm-hmm.